he wasn't tied to it. His eyes are wide open, yet his stare is blank. His face shows no trace of fear, not even the slightest hint of guilt or emotion. I recall his smooth forehead, the night when thunder and lightning rained the dusky skies as rain pounded harshly against the rooftops. The night this man killed my beloved ones. The night I will never forget. I watched as he grabbed my daughter and pulled her from my husband's arms. The man showed no compassion as my husband pleaded for mercy. He slowly took out his shiny long blade and repeatedly stabbed my husband to death. I recall his cruel stare and his stark expression, the dreadful night he killed my beloved ones. My heart stopped when I heard the dull thud of my husband falling on the floor. Red blood stained the mud. The soldier's face showed no emotion as my daughter desperately tried to hold her father's head for a last goodbye. He gripped her arms and dragged her away. As my daughter cried for help, I frantically tried to free myself from the metal strings that held my wrists and ankles. Blood trickled from my wrists as tears ran through my cheeks. Not even a single sound escaped my mouth as much as I wanted to scream. Overwhelmed by my sorrow, I could not respond to my daughter's cries for help. To my left, a woman wants the soldier to die a long, painful death. The man to my right suggests killing him immediately. All I want is revenge. The sorrow and rage that fill my soul and my body demand revenge. I want to see his life shatter and his blood drip as my husband's did the night where thunder and lightning rained the dusky skies as rain pounded harshly against the rooftops. I walk forward to get closer to the man and every step I remember my husband's haunting pleads for mercy and my little daughter's piercing screams. My teeth clench as I recall that grievous night. All it takes is one more step and I am next to the soldier. With all my might, I shout, I know this man. He is the one who killed my family. Let me kill him. Around the crowd cheers violently as they all yell out repeatedly, Kill him! Kill him! I turn my head to see his face. I recall his smooth forehead and his cruel stare the dreadful night he killed my beloved ones. I grab hold of a hammer someone hands me. The cheers of the crowd suddenly stop. I have patiently waited for this moment, hoping one day it would come. Suddenly, a pleasant feeling of relief fills my body. Flashes of memories of my daughter's laughs come to my mind. I raise the hammer over the soldier's head. His eye, bloodthirsty for death, become one of them. <laughs>